Okay, everybody, this is Vernon here with Avoda Pond Consulting, and I'm excited to introduce Mike from Pondmate. We are happy to have him here, and he's the last of the software presenters. Uh, sometimes they say you save the best for last, so we will see. No pressure, right, Mike? Yeah, no pressure at all, man. It's all no good. No pressure. So we're going to hand it over to you to let them uh, um, see your magic and do a live demo and whatever else you have in store. And uh, don't, don't be afraid to give them a little bio on yourself and how you got into the industry, et cetera. And sure, uh, the sure. screen share and everything else will be yours. So take it away. All sir. right. All right. You can hear me okay. That's great. So I want to welcome everyone. Um, our plan was to be in person, obviously, but unfortunately, that just wasn't uh, possible. So I want to thank Vernon and his team for having us here today and allowing us to present virtually amazing. Uh, thank you very much, Vernon and team. So my name is Mike Doyle, and I'm one of the co-founders and managing directors here at Pondmate. And today I'm going to share with you how you could actually have an ultimate unfair advantage over your competition by using Pondmate. So one thing though I want to mention before is or as soon as I'm done the presentation, I'm going to have an actual offer for you that I think you're going to find really, really exciting. So please wait until the uh, end of the presentation to, uh, to see that offer. So um, now before I get into our demo, I want to uh, share with you a little bit of our backstory. Uh, one of the first questions we get all the time is, who are you? You know, where did you come from? How did you get into uh, the, uh, the industry? And so what I want to do is share with you that story. So back in 2015, prior to Ponme, I personally owned a marketing agency. And I can, you know, share stories and talk about marketing all day long. Um, but I shared an office, a two-story office, with a guy by the name of Mark Wolf, who owned a custom software development company. Now, I was on the top floor, Mark was on the bottom floor, and he had this gentleman by the name of Dennis Malovich, who was his lead software engineer. So all three of us, just to bypass a lot of the story, all three of us came together as partners and formed Pondmate. Now, in 2015, I was fortunate enough to have an appointment with a pawn shop that had a two-store operation in our city. So we're located in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, which is directly across from Detroit, Michigan. And the appointment was to discuss developing a mobile app and website for his store. So at the time, we've had about 100 apps on the app store that we developed and hundreds and hundreds of websites. So my whole goal there was to share with him how we could help him in his pawn shop with a mobile app and website. Well, you know, you start asking questions and the best question, my favorite question that I always ask is what keeps you up at night? You know, why can't you sleep when it comes to your stores? And Dave, who was one of the owners said his software. So now Dave currently was looking for software in the market. He had some custom software that he couldn't get support. It was buggy. Uh, if he needed support, it took days and weeks uh, to get a response. So I mentioned to Dave some of the projects that we have been involved with, and I invited him back to our office to meet with the three of us. So we shared what we've done in other industries, and I gotta tell you, there's some crazy stuff that our teams developed uh, in a bunch of industries, such as the energy industry, uh, HVAC industry, jewelry stores, e-commerce, um, you name it, we've done it. And that was our business model, right? We'd go out, uh, secure clients, build software and marketing uh, programs for them, and then we'd go on to the next client. So ultimately, when Dave came over to our office and met with us and we showed him what we did, he was impressed. And so what he did is he chose us to actually start writing custom software for him for his pawn stores. So Dennis, you know, as soon as we got, Dennis was feverishly started working and within four months, we released Pondmate version one for Dave at his two locations. So not much time after that, um, we secured another appointment with a four-store operation in Windsor. Uh, we're currently going through the demos with some of the big vendors in the market, such as Pondmaster and Bravo. So I invited Craig to our office, um, but this time I could actually show him uh, what we put together for the industry, specifically for his industry, which was super cool. And so long story short, they liked what we developed, but you know, being new in this industry, never developed for the pawn shop or secondhand store industry before, we had to add and change a lot of things, right? So ultimately they decided to move forward with us um, and we continued with the custom software uh, development for Pondmate. 
So at this time, I thought, okay, you know, we talked amongst each other and, you know, seemed like a great opportunity for us to, to cement ourselves into, you know, one industry, develop for one industry and grow it that way and help stores that, uh, that could use our expertise in technology and web and all that. So I quietly started calling around the US and Canada and some of you in the audience and online might have received a phone call from me and you actually ultimately might be one of our clients. And so I started asking questions, you know, their current provider, what do you like? What don't you like? What would you like changed? Um, and then we started getting some amazing feedback and ultimately we secured some clients. And so um, it really, you know, told us or, you know, enlightened us that what Dennis and the team put together in respect to software and what we developed within four months um, was really something special. Uh, and so what we decided to do is, is form uh, Ponmay Inc. and uh, only started programming and developing for the pawn shop and secondhand store industry. And um, really what happened and, you know, side story, if we ever meet, I'll tell you the story, but we were at our office and a registered letter came into the mail, um, came into our office and we signed for it. And we're like, well, that's weird. We haven't really even started yet. We had, we didn't even launch pawn mate yet. Um, but we received this letter and this letter was asking us to stop doing what we're doing. Um, and it came from one of the big vendors in the marketplace. So I'm not going to get into the details of it, but when we meet one day and have a drink or a beverage, I'll share that story. Because at that point, right there, without us even launching, we had something. So we made the decision now, okay, let's start building a product that we know we can build, utilize our skills from other industries and start building something real special. So now, you know, four years later, we serve clients in US, Canada, Mexico, and Europe. So some of the clients you may or may not recognize, we have jewelry, American Jewelry and Loan out of Detroit, the hardcore pawn uh, guys. There are clients, USA Pawn out of Mississippi, six store operation. There are clients and we have Waltz Pawn, Julian Beyer added him in there because you guys are on Florida. And, uh, and Walt's a, a client out of, uh, in Florida, a call of Florida. So you can always give him a call and ask about our service, our support, our team, our tech, everything to do with, with PondMate. So um, I want to put this warning out there. Uh, PondMate isn't for everyone, okay? Um, it just isn't. And we understand that and we appreciate that. And so what I do want to do is let you know who PondMate is for. Pawnmate is for pawn shops that want flexibility, that want a simple, easy to use system. Pawn shops that want to increase their efficiency. Pawn shops that want speed to minimize clicks and screens. Pawnmate is for the pawn shops that want to increase engagement and communication with customers, but don't have a lot of time to actually spend. Pawnmate is for the pawn shops that want convenience and mobility for both the owners your teams and customers. Pawnmates for pawn shops that want to use the latest technology and feel secure about their data. Ultimately, you know, Pawnmates for pawn shops that want to grow both in-store and online customers who either have a single location or a multiple location. Okay. Now, if all those things are what you're looking for, then Pawnmate may be the perfect fit for you. Now, just before I get into the demo, I just wanted to throw this in there that not only have we developed our own uh, web app for online payments, um, a fully featured cloud system, but we also launched a pawn kiosk. So this pawn kiosk couldn't come at a better time because of what's happening in the marketplace uh, with COVID and you know limited touching uh, for for people. So this pawn kiosk will allow you to scan, your customers will allow you to scan their tickets, pay on their loans, pay on their layaways, and redeem items. So it's lightning fast within uh, transactions, it's fast, easy, and convenient, and it reduces overhead. So if you want more information, just, you know, after, after the presentation, just directly contact me and I can talk to you more about the pawn kiosk. So who's ready for the demo? Anyone raise? Who's ready for the demo? I am going to hop on to the demo. Now, this is a live demo. Vernon asked us here to, to show a demo, to, to run through our software. So that's what we are about to do. So 
let's move this over. Here we are. Can everyone see my screen okay? Chat, Vernon, you good? Let's see. Seeing PowerPoint. All right, let's uh, new share. Let's go here. How about now? Everyone see? Yep. All right. Awesome. I got the thumbs up from my team that they can see it. You guys in the audience, everyone can see it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a high level overview. I'm going to share with you some things we have in the system that you could utilize uh, for, you know, convenience and speed and all that sort of thing. The first screen you're looking at right now is our home screen. And the home screen is noted by this little red triangle in the corner. Now, as you can see, you can visually see the screen. It's a very intuitive, easy to look at, not a lot of busyness happening, um, and very, very simple to use. So on the home screen, what it will allow you to see is transactions that occur at the moment. So this screen will give you the total ponds, the buys, retail sales, returns, all this data here um, of what's happening at the moment. Now below that you can sort. So if you have multiple, multiple locations, you can filter by location, you can filter by employees, you can filter by transaction type, and you can filter by date. So right here, I have two transactions uh, from this morning. Now I can expand all and I can see more details of those transactions. Okay, so it's very, very cool. If you want more details into that, you could click the hyperlink here that says pawn 1P2, and it's gonna give you a summary of that loan or the, of that transaction, okay? On the far right-hand side, we have a chat feature. Now this chat feature is for internal stores only. It does not get sent out to our network of stores. This is just for our clients to use within their stores. So you can see, we see a whole bunch of messages um, that clients are using here. Right now, I, I know I posted one, great job for the month, everyone. Thanks for working so hard. And then here's one that is marked as important because you can see it's red, 25% off TVs today only. So again, you can go ahead, mark whatever message you want or type in whatever message you want and then post it. So uh, below that we have notifications. So part of our platform is we have integrated online store for you, a branded online store. We have our integration into eBay, a fully integrated integration. Um, we also have integration into a uh, gun broker as well. And so whatever happens, what's gonna, what you're gonna see here is notifications up here. So for example, this notification is someone was on my e-commerce site and had a buyer question on a product page. So I can click through and actually answer that question. Now I can answer that question publicly. So if I do it publicly, it's gonna show up on that product page with the questions and answers, or I could do it privately. And what's gonna happen is that a private email will go to that customer answering that question. So you have a couple of options there. Um, again, they are on our contact page, asked a question on that. Uh, here was an e-commerce. So someone went on, bought something and it's not processed yet, which means it's not shipped out. So it hasn't been packed up and shipped out. I'm gonna click there in a second. Um, here's an e-com, our local pickup. So someone's gonna come in and pick it up. Then we have, you know, someone went online and made a, a, a loan payment and also a layaway payment. The last one we have here is the a pending store transfer. So if you have a multi-location and you're transferring stock from one to another, you're gonna get a pending store transfer on the homepage to actually manage that process. Um, there's obviously more, more notifications that appear here, but I just wanted to show you ones that I have on my screen now. Now below that, and I'll come back to that in a second, but below that we have customer text messages. So what's really, really cool is that our clients can um, gather pawn and buy opportunities. So you can have customers or, you know, people that aren't your customers text in um, uh, a picture of something they want to pawn or uh, something they want to sell you. And it loads up right here. Now, if I wanted to actually text this customer back, all I have to do is click that little text icon and a screen pops up and now I can actually start texting back. So you can have two-way communication 
automatically just within the home screen if you wanted to. And again, a lot of our clients will use this as pawn and buy opportunities, okay? Below that, you have recent activities. So who's logged in, what have they done last? And then you see below that is the daily inventory. So just continuing on to the home page here, if I wanted to um, process this e-com not process, I'm just gonna click it and it's gonna bring me to the marketplaces tab. And this is the order that came through. So if I wanted to process that order, I click process. Now what's really super cool is that we put in some potential fraud checks. So we've been in the e-commerce space for well over 15 years. And um, we've had clients that are doing multi-millions per month on e-com. And so we all know that there's huge potential fraud happening in e-com. So what we did for our clients is we put in some pertinent details, okay? So the order number, order date, order email, last order, total number of orders. Um, they've had in the past. So again, that's okay. They're probably not fraud if they've ordered in the past and everything's gone through okay. We put in the billing address, shipping address, but you can see here they're different, right? So that's a question mark. And then in the middle, you see the recent merchant activity. So this is, you know, all these fraudsters, what they do is they either have a software program that's going in, grabbing cards and just trying to process orders and seeing which one hits or they have rooms full of people with paper and Excel sheets and they're going through manually and actually trying to process orders. So this one right here, you can see that this guy, John Wayne has been trying to um, process orders repeatedly with different cards. Okay, so that's a fraud check. So on the far right here, you see potential fraud checks. Shipping and billing address do not match. Verify order by calling a customer. So that's a very important thing to do. Then you have this customer has attempted this many charges, which declined recently, nine, fraud check. And then you have this customer has attempted to use this many different cards recently, five, fraud check. So this is gonna help mitigate the uh, potential fraud that stores are, are seeing in the marketplace when they first enter that online store e-commerce space. Um, and if you're not online and selling online, you gotta get online. Now there has to, be a process in place to help you. And uh, we believe that we've helped our clients just by putting in these potential fraud checks uh, on the screen, okay? So I'm gonna go back to the home screen here quickly. Just move this screen up. Um, so going back to the top here, uh, if you had multiple locations on a single database, you can switch from different locations by just clicking this button here. So I can go and log on to the East Side store or Mike's Pond store uh, very easily by just clicking. We pull the market uh, spot price in for the market every 30 minutes. This little button up on top is favorites. This is a really quick link into the system. So if you wanted to really, you know, quickly, again, minimize clicks, minimize screens, um, you just click favorites, click add inventory, and you're going into the inventory screen. We have users here. We have the admin section. I'm not going to get into the admin section. There's a lot to it. Uh, we try to develop our platform to have as much administratable function for our clients as possible. Okay. Um, so that's why I said there's a lot, lot into it. Uh, my profile support, this is where you can support, you get support videos, support documentation. This is where you can um, create your support tickets, um, that sort of thing. And then you have the logo. So underneath there where you see the home screen and the checkout, you have all these action buttons here. So again, I wanna note that I am on the home screen because it's red in the corner. So I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna go to the checkout screen now. And the checkout screen, is where you're hanging out 95% of your time. You know, This is where you're gonna be writing up new pawns. This is where you're gonna be writing up buys, purchases. This is where you're gonna be doing retail sales, where you're gonna put things on layaway, where you can sell warranties. This is the screen that you're gonna be able to do repairs on. And so everything is encapsulated into this uh, checkout screen here. So on the far left-hand side, you'll see the checkout section here. So, you know, you can, if you have a use barcodes, you can scan a barcode, it's gonna pull up the item, pull up the loan, pull up the customer. You can type in the uh, loan number or retail sales number or the inventory ID number rather. Um, you can give a discount right from uh, this screen. You can put a comment. So here's something really, really cool. If you're not integrated into eBay with Pondme or 
you know, not integrated with your e-commerce and it's, you know, outside of Ponme or gun broker and an order comes in, what you can do is you can process that order inside Ponme. And what you're going to do is you're going to associate a source to it. So if I had an eBay sale, what you could do is ring the eBay sale up in Pondmate, associate as eBay, and now you have tracking. So now within Pondmate, you can pull reports based on how many eBay sales did I do. And that's without us being um, integrated. Okay, so that's an option for you guys. Now all these options here that you see, source, referral, pawn ticket, administratable in the back end. Okay, so you can turn them on and off. Uh, referral, this is just a, a, a nice, simple way to keep track of, you know, how customers are coming in or why customers are coming in, uh, pull reports based on that. The pawn ticket uh, at time of transaction. So if you have a customer that brings in five items and you uh, only allow those five items on a single ticket, you can do that, or you can separate those five items into individual tickets, okay? You can send an e-receipt uh, on any transaction. As long as they have an email in the profile, you, they'll get a, e, um, a PDF of that transaction. Uh, you have, you know, fingerprint scanning, you have digital signature here as well that you can utilize. Um, and then the big gold green process button. So what you're going to see here today is I'll have the Google Chrome browser. So when I process a transaction, a, a Chrome preview button will come up. However, in a store atmosphere, what you could do is you could just click process and it'll go right to the printer that it needs to go to. So you can set up a pawn, pawn printer, you know, a buy printer. Um, labels and stickers going to those individual printers that need to go by just clicking the process button. Okay. Now on the far right hand side, we have the customer profile. So you can scan um, a driver's license, back of a driver's license. You can look up a customer by their first name, last name, phone number, license number, date of birth. So I'm just going to look up um, myself here. select myself and I have an alert that's just again administratable in the back end I have an alert that says they have a, have a few things expired that have not been pulled yet okay that's all that is and so on this screen here we have all the pertinent information um, for the customer on the far right we have some really cool icons so we have the wrap sheet that you can print so if you need you know a paper base of that information of that customer you can go ahead and click the wrap sheet print that. Uh, you can direct SMS a customer right from the screen. So if I wanted to, I just click the, the SMS icon. And again, I can start chatting with my customer there. Um, this little FastPawn login. So FastPawn is our online payment uh, service. This will allow you to allow your customers to make loan and layaway payments online, purchase um, from your online store, and just see their recent transactions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you um, what it looks like. Okay, so you can bring up any customer on this screen and you can log in as if you were that customer. So if I'm Mike, well, I am Mike Doyle. No, well, if I'm Mike Doyle and I'm logged in, this is what I'll see here. So essentially, I can see my loans, I can see my layaways, I can see the shop, the checkout, the transactions, my profile. I can contact the store. Oh, I guess you can't see it. Hold on, let me try to new share again. Boom. Ha! How about that, guys? Oh. You guys good? Awesome. So it looks like from Zoom, I have to share each new screen that comes up. I have to share <laughs> share it again. So please, if you can't see anything, please let me know and, uh, and I'll share it. So all I did is I clicked this little icon. Again, log in as if I was the customer so I can see what the customer sees. And um, you can just click loans here and you can see that I have all my loans. Okay, so you can include images or you don't have to include images here. So if I wanted to pay on this loan here and this loan, I just select it, go down to the bottom, click pay selected. Um, I can go back and I can make a payment on my layaway as well. I can uh, shop online, add it to my cart. If I'm ready to uh, check out, I just go ahead and click make a payment. 
Now I'm gonna use the test version of our card in our system here, but if this is the first time a customer logged in to make a payment, they add their new payment method, they can make this payment method as their default. So every time they make a payment, it's gonna automatically use that card and, um, and process. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna use our test credit, click payment processing. So now it's doing that handshake between the uh, merchant um, terminal and then all of a sudden, boom, uh, the payment has occurred. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but also an email uh, arrived showing the customer had made a payment with the actual ticket. So it says, thank you for your payment. You may now log out or close your browser. Here's your confirmation number, uh, date, time, ticket number. So if I wanted to, I could just, you know, take a look at the uh, ticket. So I can click view the ticket, download the ticket, um, and, uh, and there we have it. So that's online, allowing your customers to make online payments here. It's a web, so you could actually go and put it on your website. So you can say, you know, make, make your payments, pay your loans, pay your loans and layaways, and they can click on log into their account and see what they have to pay. Okay. Um, I'm going to make, let me know if you guys can see my text messaging um, ability here. Can you guys see it? Just want to know if I have to reshare my screen again. Yes, perfect. So here it is. This is how you can text. So again, uh, just an SMS icon, click on it, start chatting up with the customer. It comes back and forth. Again, real live, instant communication, streamline, um, text messaging. Now, what's really cool is that if I wanted to, I can actually do a one-time email. I'm not sure if you guys can see that as well, but you can actually put a subject line in a message and send a one send text. Now, what I want to show you, and I may have to show share my screen again, is what we've added. So, you know, driving more traffic, driving more reviews. Everyone's talking about reviews and how important they are to be found one online, and two, you know, between someone that has five reviews to someone that has 500 reviews, your customers are probably going to choose someone that has 500 reviews, right? So, what we added in here for our clients are what we call send quick SMS. So, you can create SMS templates in the admin section. So the three that I have here are contest. So if you're running a contest and you want your customers to register for that contest, you can send them a link for the contest. If you have a new customer and you wanna you know, reward them for coming in, you, you guys all know that it's harder to get new customers than it is to uh, retain current customers. And it's more the way do you have a new customer? Thank you for your order. Oh, by the way, here is um, something else. Here is 5% off, 10% off, incentive, promotion, whatever it is. It's what we'd call onboarding. And the next one is reviews. So if you want to send your customer the ability to review you, they had a great um, experience at your store and you want to send them an actual review, I'm just going to go ahead and send that. Now, again, let me know if you can't see my screen. I'm going to bring up my phone. Um, and, and show you what we've put together for our clients. Okay, so I'm gonna send Mike Doyle uh, a review link. So I'm gonna head and send it. It was sent. Let me see. Can you guys see my screen? My phone screen, I should say. Perfect. All right, awesome. Oh, Mark says yes. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna go into my screen here. This is Mike's. It says, how did we do today? Please leave us a review. I'm gonna go ahead and click this link. So what we've put together is we've put together um, a landing page. will ask your customers if they had a good experience. Now, some people um, would not use this because you're really, you're gating the review and Google frowns upon that on gating. So it's really up to the client if they want to do that or not, you just let us know. But here it is, did you have a good experience today? Yes or no? So I'm just gonna go yes. It says, we're thrilled, you had a great experience with us. Please take a moment, leave us a review. So I scroll down here, I can go right to, um, Facebook, or I can go right to Google. Again, if there's another option that you have here, such as another 
you know, review site, we could add that review site as well. So I'm just going to go back here and show you what happens when someone didn't have a good review. So, well, that's not good. We want to make this right. Tell us how we can do better. This is where you can fill in your information, name, email, and message. It gets sent to the client to let them know that you had a customer that didn't experience anything that was good. However, we do have another option here. You still want to leave a review? You can click here. So if I click there, it's going to go back to the review section, and this is where that customer can leave a review. Okay. Again, total options for you guys, for our clients. It's really however you want to, to work it. So very, very cool option that we have for our clients. Now you can uh, build multiple templates, not just these three. I just built the, the three here that we have just to show you. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Going back on these icons here, we have fast pond settings. This is how you can give one-time approvals for your, your customers to actually log in. So an email or text will go out saying, hey, sign up to access your profile. So they'll go in, log on to the page. They'll put their either their email or cell phone that is associated with the account, password, and boom, they're logged in, okay, to have that. Um, this is where I can, you know, disable that feature for that client. So if I don't want Mike Doyle to log in anymore, I can just make him inactive. Okay. Now, following it through here, we have the stats. So this is customer stats screen. So if I click this customer stats, the stats screen and just scroll, you can see I have a lot of information about Mike just on the page, on the, on the single page. I didn't bounce. I'm not going anywhere. I'm on the same screen I'm on. So the first visit, the la uh, latest visit, my redemption percentage, the total pawns and buys, the cost and profit on that, the cost and profit on the buys, the open pawns, the pull, the overall defaults, the income fees, retail sales returns, you know, payment date, customer calls you, you know, if I come in next week, what do I owe? You can go ahead and change that date and it's gonna calculate it for you. Um, so all I had to do is hit that button. Now, what's really, really cool about that screen is if I scroll and I just click customer history, what it's going to do, it's going to open up all these tabs for me. So now if I click customer history, I can go to open items and I see all my open items. I see my ponds, I see my layaways and I have my repairs. These are all open. They're not closed. They're open and active. I can see everything that I've pulled from this customer. I can see all my renewals, all my redemptions, buys, retail sales, my consignment, my store credit, any checks that you offer. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention before I get comments. Um, this is a master permission level. So you're gonna be able to see everything as a master user. And some of the spelling is Canadian. So for example, checks or jewelry, it's all Canadian. Now, if you are a client in the U.S., you'll have the U.S. So before you make any comments, it's just Canadian spelling. I'm using my Canadian system. So I get people teasing me all the time. Um, here's your confiscated uh, items, all repairs. And again, you see that stats tab. Okay. So let's say you have a customer that, that came in and they don't have a ticket, right? They lost their ticket. You can just look them up, go to opens, pawns, click this little button here and it's going to bring it over to the current cart. So everyone's asking us like, why is it called current cart? Like what, what's, what's up with that? And it's because, well, you can do everything on the screen. Again, pawns, buys, retail sales, layaways, warranty, you know, wholesale sales. And, and so we couldn't really fit all that on that one little, um, uh, screen or that little icon that says checkout. And so that's, that's why it's called checkout. So right now I have a customer that wants to renew their loan. So I brought that loan over. Um, I'm just going to click renewal and, and put in the, you can see it up here. Now, another thing that you can do on this screen is let's say that customer comes in and they want to um, sell me something. So what I could do is click add item. Instead of a pawn, it's going to be a buy. Okay, fill in all the information and now it's on the screen. Now, let's say the customer comes in and they want to pay on the renewal. 
they want to sell me something and they want a pawn as well. You could essentially just click add item, go ahead. It's already automatically default to pawn. Again, that's a default setting. So you can have it as you have to select or force someone to choose pawn or buy, or you can have it defaulted to either or. Okay, so right now it's pawn. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in some pawn information, some data. So we have what's really cool is the um, quick codes. So as you can see, if you know quick codes, then that already came up as a camera optics, camera, SLL, Canon, Rebel, T5i. I didn't have to type in anything. So I just used my uh, quick codes in here, okay? I can put in a serial number. Now what's really cool about our system um, is that if, if, there is a, if there is something that's flagged in our system as potentially stolen, what's gonna happen is, and you put that serial number in the system, it's going to flag it and alert you that this is a potentially stolen item, okay? Now in Canada, we're connected to the federal database of the country where all stolen goods are inputted. In the US, unfortunately, we don't have that luxury to tie in. So we tied it into our complete network of stores. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in um, code there. Now, here, I don't know, maybe it's 100 bucks, maybe it's 150. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to loan out. So what you can do is you can select this lookup tool. I can go to eBay. Now let me know if you can see my screen. What it should be showing you is the sold listings on eBay. So I can quickly scan through, see what it, they're selling for, and go ahead and loan out that amount. So I'm just gonna go 150. There we go. Now, again, below that, you'll see retail items. So some of our stores will add what they believe they're gonna be able to sell that item for if it forfeits. And a lot of our clients that we notice is that they're using it as a training tool for their employees to, to share with them or teach them how to price items out. Again, this is totally administratable in the back end. You can either you know, include it or not, turn it on or turn it off, okay? So here we have right now on this screen, I am doing a buy, I'm doing a pawn, and I'm doing a renewal. Now let's say the customer's like, hey, this is cool. I want to uh, buy this item. So customer brings the item up into uh, the checkout. You scan it or type in the inventory ID number. And all of a sudden now I have a retail sale here. So what can I do? Again, so I can sell a warranty on it. I don't think I will. It's an Under Armour apparel backpack. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, I can put it on layaway right from this screen, okay? So in the administrator, you can just, you know, create your own layaway program like the 1010 that uh, clients are using or any real layaway program that you have, okay? So if I'm ready to roll and the customer's all good, it's gonna calculate all the information or all the, all the uh, numbers at the top. Um, I can click process and what's going to happen is I'm going to get a buy ticket, I'm going to get a pawn ticket, I'm going to get a pawn renewal ticket, and I'm going to get a retail sales receipt with a layaway attached. Okay, so very, very cool. Again, we want speed, you know, reduce clicks, reduce screens that you have to click through, um, and just make that experience for the customer and yourself uh, more streamlined and smooth. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to X out of here because I have one, a couple more cool things that I want to show on the screen here. So I don't want to lay away. Let me go here. Now, one other thing that we've added to this screen is in-store credit card processing and debit processing. Okay, so we're connected uh, and integrated with a company called Blue Dog. They're a pro pawn and pro firearms um, merchant processor. So now you have the ability to process a credit card. So all you have to do, or a debit card. So let's say this customer wanted to buy this, you know, Under Armour bag. I just click amount due, brings up the amount. What do you want to pay, debit or credit? I'll just put credit card, click charge. And what's going to happen is that charge is going to go into the terminal in front of your customer. 
And then what's gonna happen is that customer will put in their details, it'll come back approved, and maybe I'm not quite sure if my terminal is actually live or active, um, but this is how it works for our clients. Now, no, it's approved, there it is. We're good to go. We click process and it's a very fast and seamless process here. Okay, again, remember when I mentioned the front, I don't have it set to go directly to a printer. It's gonna bring up that Chrome browser uh, right now. So I'm just gonna move this. Can you guys see this? Hope you can see it. All right, I'm just gonna click cancel. And I'm gonna go back to uh, the home screen here. And you can see. So here's really, really something cool here. Um, the backpack, this is what I just did, the sale. Uh, this is what I did for my online payment. So remember when I went in and did my online payment, shows up immediately uh, on the screen. So there's no waiting at night to batch, <laughs> none of that craziness. It's immediate, right away, um, instant. And so what we have the ability to do now is I can click this mobile renewal screen and it's just a nice way to manage the online payments. Okay, so all it really does, it shows you the payments that were done. You can print the ticket if you wanted to, and you just remove it from the screen. That's all that is. So I put in my PIN number, I click remove. Yes, I wanna remove it from the list, and there we go. So I go back to the home screen, and you'll see that the uh, one less. I had 13, now I have 12, okay? Going back to the uh, checkout option, now that is an option for you. You don't need to do that. It's just literally an admin section. Again, from the beginning, I said, we're trying to make everything administratable for you guys that you can go in and make changes um, without needing you know, uh, advanced tech person to help you out, right? So let me look up my uh, customer again. I'm just gonna look up myself. Right over here, expired. Yes, we're good. Again, you can make any note a pop-up, okay? So I'm just gonna go back over here for uh, jewelry. So if you're doing jewelry, you can do it as an add item, the line item here, or you can use the jewelry estimator. Again, everything is done the administry screen for your um, uh, algorithm that you use to price things out. But you can go ahead and fill in the metal uh, details. So the metal, select the type, the style, the color, the purity, the weight, the size, gender, and description and it's going to figure out the uh, amount for you. Again, you can do it for pawn and buy, add, way you go. So you have the stone details here that you can select, uh, stone color, and again, you can do it as estimates as well. So you can create this, customer comes in, hey, what are you going to give me on this? You can create an estimate, customer walks out, customer comes back, you can pull up the estimate on your screen and process the order without going through all this uh, trouble again, okay? Uh, firearms, same type of deal with the firearms. If you're doing a firearm, you can do a pawn and a buy. Manufacture, like it's you know freeform type. So go ahead. Um, firearm coffee, excuse me. Um, the type, the action, the caliber, the model, the serial number, NCIC code, the barrel length, the finish. Is it a new firearm? Uh, yes, no. The price. If you need an importer on there or any notes. This is where you can manage the repairs or add, sorry, not manage the repairs, but you can add repairs. So this is where you can add a repair from a customer's item or from inventory. Again, your customer history and the search screen. So search, you can search what your sellable inventory is right from this screen or what pawns you have. So example, I'm just going to, you know, put in Canon, right? It's going to go ahead and show me Canon, everything I have for Canon. Okay, so pretty, pretty cool. I think that's it for the uh, checkout screen. Again, everything that you do, 95% of the time you're hanging out at the uh, checkout screen. Um, we can go into greater details actually from the, <laughs> the checkout screen, but for the time, what am I at? 8.42, I'm just gonna continue going on. Um, transaction screen, so on the transaction screen, this is where you see all the transactions. This is where you can see the sales log, the store credit log. This is where you can void a transaction. Um, so I'm just gonna expand all. 
Uh, you can void it and rewrite it. So what's that going to do? It's going to void that transaction. You click rewrite. It's going to bring all that information back over to the checkout screen so you don't have to retype anything. Okay. And then you can make your correction at that point. Again, all the filtering options here by date ranges, by transaction type, by tra transaction source, um, by transaction number or ticket number, uh, by employee, by manager, by store. So everything is here. Uh, customer, this is a customer screen. Again, you can look up a customer from the customer screen and bring them over to the checkout screen, or you can just look them up at the checkout screen. It's really up to you. Layaways, this is where you manage all your layaways, right? So you have all the filtering options. Again, here you can filter by different categories, by start date, end date, sales ID. You can look up a customer here. You can filter by a store. You can filter by status. Um, now what's really, really cool is you can see that this customer is late. So you can see they're late on their payment. It's turned red. If I expand it, you can see the payments that were made. I can see the tickets and I can actually print them out if I like to, if I want to. But what's really cool is I can actually SMS a customer right from the screen. Hey Mike, you're late on your layaway payment when you're coming in, that kind of thing. Now we also have in the system, automatic reminders. So you can set automatic reminders for pawns and layaways right from the system. So you don't have to worry about, you know, doing the one-offs. It's automatically set for you. Um, this is just another option that you have that you can just, you know, coax and push that customer one last time. Okay. We also have on here, so if it is late, I can change the uh, expired date. So it turns it off red. So they're not late. Okay, you have that option, again, administratable in the back end. Um, here's the pull list or the forfeit list. Uh, so everything here is uh, expired and ready to be pulled and priced out. Again, you have all the filtering options. You can have this as a printable report. Um, you know, select the date type. So the created date, expired date, late notice date, safe until date, start date, end date by category if you wanted to, by different status by different store, you can look up a customer. Um, you can access the scrap bin here and manage the whole refinery uh, process. And then you can do the inventory counts. So you can do the physical inventory counts with a scan gun or typing in the uh, number into the box. And you can go ahead and once you do that, it's gonna produce a report. It's gonna show you the discrepancy, what's in, what's not, and what, okay. You can do uh, bulk pulls if you want to. Again, all administratable in the back end, um, or you can do individual pulls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an individual pull if that's cool with you guys. So here's one. So all I have to do is click on the line item. Um, what's really cool is if I'm going through this list and I hover over Mike Doyle, I can see my redemption percentage is at 31%. However, I am a great customer and I should get a 15% VIP. So this just lets you in on some information about about Mike before pulling the item, okay? Again, I could click on the link of Mike and go right into his customer profile, okay? I can click this link, this 1B number, this is telling me it's a buy, and I can see the buy summary screen, okay? It's gonna give me the history of Mike uh, on this loan, the individual loan. So if I click it and I click this inventory ID number, I'm gonna go into the inventory edit screen, okay? I'm gonna put in my PIN number, and then I'm going to price this item out. So what is this? So I'm just going to go 299. Again, if this was jewelry, I can put it into the jewelry scrap bin if I wanted to. Um, I can go ahead and do that lookup again. Now, what's really cool about our lookup is if you use a site that has a search capability on that site, most likely we'll be able to add that list to this list. So you don't see all this in, in your profile. Um, it's literally just everything that... Uh, that you have. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna see about some chats here. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, question. Sorry, I'm just gonna answer a couple of chats here. Yes, good, yes, text. All right. There, I'll answer this at, at, the, at the end, but if you don't mind. Those are good questions though. Um, okay, so I'm pulling this item. So uh, pricing it out. So at this point here, I can print a retail sticker or I can print a jewelry sticker. So if it's an, a jewelry item, I can put a you know, rat tail or barbell and it'll get printed out. Uh, this retail receipt and description in the admin section, you can customize it. So right now you can see I have camera, optics, camera, Canon, Rebel, and then inventory ID. 
I can add a whole bunch of information or I can reduce that information, just have basic information on that sticker that gets printed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click save again, administratable. Pondmate needs an answer. Are you sure you want to pull this item into sellable inventory? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. And so now that item is pulled. So it's sellable, one stock. And you can see if you, log, if you, if you cruise down a little bit on the screen, you'll see the inventory log. So what has been done? What I want to show you now is pricing this out to your own branded online store. So I'm going to click marketplaces. And then now I have some options. Okay, it's going to give me the status of that item on these marketplaces. And I get to choose. Do I want to post it on e -com? Do I want to post it on eBay? Do I want to post it on GunBroker? That sort of thing. So right now, I'm just going to go e-commerce. So if I didn't take pictures of the item before, now I can actually add pictures. I could add, uh, I believe, up to 10 images uh, of the item here. Um, I can make one defaulted as the main pick or um, just go ahead and uh, roll as it is. I'm going to put my pin number in. Now I can make it a local pickup. I can make it a featured product. All the information comes from the top down. I can put a pre-sale price, an appraisal price. So pre-sale price, let's go $4.99. Um, appraisal price, MSRP price, you know, current selling price. It'll give you that cost again. All the make, model, serial number, condition, category. Now if I'm utilizing e-commerce to actually ship out, then I'll put in a package way and package dimensions. Now in the admin screen, you have a couple of options. You can integrate with a company that, uh, that can do all this for you with the shipping. You can create your own shipping packages. So some of our clients will say, if it can fit into this type of box, you're gonna pay 25 bucks for shipping. Okay, so you just select your shipping uh, package at time of posting. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and post. You guys are cool with that. So I come up here, I can save a listing, I can post a listing, or I can remove a listing. Today, I'm just going to post a listing. Actually, let me see if I can quickly get a picture here. Let me go. Cool. There's my pick. Not sure if you guys can see that okay. And I'm going to post. There we go. Post was successful. It's an active listing. And now I can click preview and preview that um, on, uh, on the site. So right now this is ready to roll. This is ready to be sold. So as you can see, it grabs the, uh, the title, the information, you can share it. Um, was $4.99, now $2.99. It says I have one in stock at my location. Again, if you have multiple locations, you can have like one at stock at Tecumseh and three at stock in like Windsor and you know wherever your locations are. Now, product details will give you the product details. Now, here's really something cool. Remember, in the beginning, I said that you could, you know, answer questions. So if someone had a question on this product page and started typing it in, it automatically gets sent to Pondmate. You get alerted. You can answer that question right away. Okay. Again, you can answer it with privately or publicly. All right. So there we go. There is the uh, post. Oh, we also integrate with some really cool stuff to help you marketing. So this is a this is a gate before you leave. As you could tell, as soon as I went up above my screen, it says, hey, wait, before you go, get a 20% 20, 20 off coupon sent to your inbox immediately. Again, a way to you know grow your email list. Uh, email is powerful. If you're not growing a list, I highly recommend you do that. And uh, this is a great way, great way to do it. So I'm just gonna click get out of there, go back to my screen. Okay, so one last thing I'll show you is the eBay. So if you post on eBay, or if you sell on eBay right now, then this is um, very familiar to you. This is very similar to the way eBay does their posting. Okay, so right now I'm in Canada. If it was a US store, you just have it defaulted as US. And I can go ahead and start selecting my um, categories, all right? Let's go digital cameras. And eBay just made this change recently where, um, you know, they want you to drill down in the different categories uh, section so that we just added that. Again, you go down, again, administratable, you have the details already set up in the admin section. Um, you can put a condition description. You can do it either auction or fixed pricing. Um, you already have your shipping 
set up in the admin section. You don't have to fill in any of this information at all. Okay, this is just because I don't have an actual eBay store myself. Um, so I'd have to go ahead and do that. All right. And then the next one we have is a uh, gun broker. Okay, so very, very cool. All right, so that is the pull list. Next is the repair screen. Again, you can manage all the repairs here, um, all the filtering options. You have the marketplace. So anything that you post online, eBay, gun broker, this is where, or fast pond, uh, not fast pond, but eBay gun broker website. This is where you can manage that. You can view the listing, preview it. You can see some, some details here, featured, that sort of thing. Uh, you have a till. So I already opened up my till uh, this morning, but I can close the till. So you can have the till. You can see the till transactions that have occurred today. Um, you can have it as cash total open up the till, or you can have denominations. Really, it's up to you. And, uh, and at the end of the night, again, you close it and everything is accounted for. Uh, next, before I get into the reports, we have the search screen. So the search screen, you can really search anything. You know, again, you have all those filtering options. You can filter by different years, um, start date, end date. You can filter by status or search by status, search by sellable, yes, no, in stock, yes, no, all stores. Um, by different location, by categories, and you just wanna make sure that you're selecting uh, a search field. So if I just go on to go inventory ID, I don't know, 422, it's gonna bring up all the uh, inventory IDs. Here we go. So that is the search screen. Or if I wanted to go to make, and I just put in Canon, and you have all the Canon stuff pulling up, okay? Uh, just lastly, we have our reports. So we have a bunch of reports here. Um, again, you have the general, so you have the daily business, a snapshot of the day, what's going on. You have performance, interest charges, merchant activity report, merchant backs, pawns payments, all this stuff, layaways, retail, kiosk, fast pawn, SMS, time clock, um, others like confiscated inventory, employee commissions, firearms acquisition report, referral, scrap jewelry, you know, transactions per post code, per hour, that sort of thing. Um, and right now we are currently heavily involved with adding uh, more reports and streamlined reports, more of uh, management type reports and financial reports uh, within the system. So that's what uh, our team is feverishly working on right now. And I just want to uh, hats off to, to my team for working so hard on getting some of this uh, these reports done of what our clients have requested. Um, so any questions we have here? Let's see. One question from Daryl. Will you be integrated with guns.com for inventory management? You know, it's, uh, it's funny. Gun, I think guns.com sponsored the breakfast and I had my my actual uh, coffee mug ready to roll. Um, we were supposed to meet with Jeff and his team at the conference in Dixie, um, but again, unfortunately, we couldn't we couldn't make it, um, and we couldn't make it to this conference either. Um, but we are going to be uh, integrating with uh, more and more. Uh, options uh, down the road. So do we have it right now for guns.com? No. Will we in the future? If I was a betting man, I'd probably say yes. Okay. What does the line pawn payments cost me? Um, what credit card company handles gun sales? Um, so for the, we, we, I'm going to have the costs uh, at the end of the presentation because I have an offer for you guys. Um, but we use Blue Dog um, processor for uh, for our credit card processing and debit processing. It's so payment processing. Um, does discount for customer process automatically? Uh, does the discount for customer process automatically? I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, uh, where do you bring uh, where do where do you bring things in for vendors in your system? Um, 
one last one, accounting reports downloadable to Excel and QB. We do have reports that you can uh, select Excel to download that you can input into uh, QuickBooks. Do we have a QuickBooks integration right now? No, we don't. Um, that is a possibility in the future. I don't have a timeline on that. We have some really cool things that we're uh, uh, adding into the system now. QuickBooks is not one of those things yet but uh, you never know what the future will hold. Um, where do you bring things in for vendors in this system? Um, so where do we go is we would go into favorites, add inventory, and then you have the vendors here. So if I select vendor, all of a sudden all my vendors appear here, and this is where I would add, okay? see any more ready to go um, one last thing i do want to mention that we have a fully functional and awesome purchase order module so if i order from a vendor or a distributor on an ongoing basis what i can do is i can create my po my purchase order i can have them you know i can send it by email automatically it'll create the purchase order uh, document, send it, or I can save it and print it, fax it or email it, um, and just, you know, manage that whole process. So when that purchase order gets fulfilled and that item gets um, shipped to your store, you can go ahead and receive that order in. Again, it gets added to stock. Let's see if I have, I'll show you. I don't have a picture here, but you can see that uh, this is a PO that was generated. I can put it in the part number or item ID number. I can, how many am I gonna order? I don't know, let's order 200 at a cost of, you know, 12 cents. And then I can go ahead and manage that complete process. Fill in all the vendor details, the created date, order date, expected date. Net payment terms are set up in the admin section of the vendor. So if you have net 30 with a specific vendor, as soon as you select that vendor, it's going to automatically select your payment terms, uh, puts in your costs, shipping, all, all that stuff. Um, and it'll show you how much you have in stock already right here. So that's really, really cool. So again, um, thanks. We got the purchase orders uh, module as well. Any other questions before I head into my offer? Let me see, see if my team, if I'm missing anything that I should highlight. I think we're good. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my PowerPoint presentation here and I'll probably have to redo my screen. New share my screen so who's ready to see the offer who's ready you guys all ready all right so palm 8 suite we keep it real simple you know just like our system our system's simple to use it's intuitive you can understand it very easily um, it's fast it's, it allows you convenience um, it's everything that a system should be so Palmate Suite is what we have to offer. You get online training, you get data migration. So we've migrated from Pondmaster, um, Bravo, Pondex, Dazzle, some of the other older ones. And so um, data migration is included. Um, equipment setup is including tickets, receipts, and stickers. Installation on unlimited workstation and devices. So we don't limit you as a per license. You could um, load it up on five screens at your store and you may have three at your home and maybe manager somewhere else. Um, again, it's unlimited. There is no actual license. Uh, you get the pond buy module. You get the jewelry estimator module. You get the retail sales module. You get the layaway module full till management, inventory module, which includes transfer management between stores. You get the purchase order module, you get the gun log, you get the email notification module, you get the repair module, you get the consignment module. I didn't even talk about consignment, but yeah, you can do consignments within Pondmate. Um, you get the employee time clock, 
You get the SMS premium service, two-way text, pull list, and layaway list. So I didn't actually even mention this, but if you're pulling an item, you have those automatic reminders going out for the loans. If a customer responds to that text message, it actually loads up and shows you that response on the pull list screen. Okay, so very, very cool. I skipped that, I apologize. Um, you get an integrated branded website for online posting of sellable inventory. You get the marketplace integration with eBay and GunBroker. You get the online chat feature on the e-com site. So you can either use talk.to, which is what we've used for years, free service, um, or you can actually, if you're signed up with a Podium, you can have their Podium website widget on our online store. Uh, you get the FastPawn payment system to accept online payments. Now, if you do not want to accept online payments, okay, some customers don't, I get it. You can still have FastPawn in read-only mode. What that means is that your customers can still log on, see what they owe, they just won't be able to make payments on it, which again, should reduce the calls that are coming in to the store. So you don't have to have the online payment option on there, but you can certainly utilize the FastPawn system for your clients, okay? We have uh, in-store payment processing, merchant services. So the investment here is $2,895 one-time fee, and the monthly is $299 per month. That includes support and updates. No long-term commitments or contracts. And there's some conditions apply, right? So the conditions that apply are, you see these little asterisks here, the CMS, uh, SMS premium service. Okay, so you get free SMSs coming in, right? That's free, but when you're sending out, it's four cents a text, okay? That's what I mean by some conditions apply. Um, the fast pond payment system to accept online payments, um, it is set at 2.95% and 30 cents a transaction. In the in-store payment processing merchant services, that depends on the volume of payment processing that you, your individual store does. So we don't know that pricing. That's when we connect with Blue Dog and they go over their analysis of what they can offer and what makes sense for you guys. Okay. Again, a lot of stuff to cover. Can't really cover everything at all once. So why don't you try us out? We can offer you a free seven day trial. You can go to pawnmate.com forward slash sign up, or you can contact me directly. Mike Doyle, managing director. That's my direct line and my email address. Let's leave that up for a few seconds. And we've got three chats. Okay. I think they are. Can you migrate from Bravo fully? <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about migration, data migration. Um, it's an extremely complex process. To say the least, it's complex. Um, for Pondmaster, we can migrate fully, okay? Fully with Pondmaster. With Bravo, that's a different story. So things that we cannot bring over from Bravo is customer IDs in images at this time. Um, uh, a little birdie uh, whispered in my ear that hopefully that might change in the coming year or so. So we are very hopeful that that might happen, um, but we can bring in the active loans, uh, history, um, layaways, that sort of thing. Um, is this price in per store location? If you have multiple stores, we have two operating systems currently. Um, can you migrate into one? Bravo in arms. Um, I'd have to take a look at ARMS, not quite familiar, but I would love to, to have a look, um, my, get my tech team involved and see. Um, that price is just one store only. So if you have multiple stores, then we, um, we extend a discount uh, to you, okay, from that pricing. So again, it's, uh, that's a single store pricing, but if you have multiple stores, then we can connect and come up with something that makes sense for you guys and us. Can you change screen at your webcam for those in the room here? Oh, shoot. Sorry. Here we go again. For those in the room here, we want to see your face. <laughs> you really, you really want to see that? A little, I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. Um, all right. Uh, Samantha, can can you see everything now? Can are we all good? I'm gonna stop sharing. 
Yep. Can you change the screen? We want to see it. No webcam. All right. Let's share. All right. So, well, small webcam in corner. Oh, I gotcha. Let's see. Da, 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 No worries if you can't. Yeah, it's uh, causing me some issues here, but all good, all good. You don't want to see my face. You don't want to see my face anyway, Samantha, thanks. Any other questions that we have here? Dun, 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 dun. I don't think so. I think we are all set. Sam Vernon. Yes, we appreciate you, Mike. Thank you for being here. And for everybody that's uh, online, we appreciate the questions. Uh, we'll be sending out the link to this recording and everybody that was in attendance, was registered to be in attendance and is registered for virtual, will get the link. Um, so feel free to give Mike a call. We've been working closely with him with some of our Florida clients and I can tell you they are definitely one of the new up and comers in the business and definitely worth at least a conversation. So thank you, Mike. Stay cool or warm up there. It's going to get cold. That's why you got the beard, right? Well, yeah, I have to stay warm. It's like I'm hibernating. Okay. I'm, hi <laughs> I'm a bear. I'm yep. a bear. All right, buddy. That's all you can do, brother. Thanks, We man. appreciate you. Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks, guys. Yeah.